Fox Chapel Area High School, home of the Foxes, and of Fox Chapel Girls Softball. Each year, about one to two dozen hopefuls make the roster, landing on the varsity or junior varsity squad, and at times, even both, usually playing a different position for each. However, before regular games and the road to playoffs begin, there comes a time that players far and wide may love and also may occasionally grow tired of. But ultimately, at the very least, one which they will always come to accept, the preseason. Here to shed more light on this topic is a very knowledgeable insider. I am Chris Olbrick, uh, head softball coach at Fox Chapel Area High School. I've been coaching either baseball or softball for the last 15 years. I've coached rec ball, travel softball leagues, and four years ago I officially was hired as the assistant at Fox Chapel, and this year I assumed the head coaching. So the preseason starts in the summer with just some practices to keep the girls together. Once school's back in session, we we'll practice. Usually September, October is nice weather. We try to do one kind of fall tournament for fun. And then once the weather turns cold, we'll move into the gym. And then after the first of the year, we come back and practice about two to three days a week inside. Typically, every day we have school, we have practice or a game. Uh, practices are relatively structured in the sense that we would have warm-ups, stretching, running, throwing. And then we break into different drills for what I think we need to work on that particular day. So we might do a hitting day, we might do a fielding day. We try to get our pitchers to practice and work so they are loose. I have two assistant coaches uh, with me, Jim Muir and uh, Bob Lining. Um, so they help a lot with running practices, suggest lineup changes and things like that. So it's, it's another two sets of eyes to help me watch everything. Because when you have 23 girls on a team, it's hard to keep your eye on everything. So uh, they pick up different things, different skills. They have different uh, abilities or different strengths to pick up hitting, pitching, things like that. So we work together very well as a team. I want to win. That's fine. But that's not the most important thing. So it's nice to see it come together on the field. I'm partial. I think it's the best sport you can play. Um, I think that it's special because almost any body type and athletic ability can play softball. There's usually a position for them if they want to work at it. And a lot of mental approach to the game, those who succeed at it and embrace it, do very well. Along with some insight from Coach, players were eager to demonstrate skills, while one even had some words of her own for the camera. My name is Mackenzie Borkovich, and I'm a sophomore at Fox Chapel Area High School. This is my second year on the high school softball team, and I play pitcher and shortstop. Some people might be surprised how much time actually goes into being on the softball team, because whenever we play far away, some of our games are about an hour away, like Butler, so we don't get home till late, and then we have to shower, eat, and do our homework, and then start all over the next day. For the season to come, we have a lot of new freshmen that have came in, and I think they will really improve our team, and I'm looking forward to having a hopefully winning season this year. This year, I'm hoping to make the strikeout leader list and possibly get an honorable mention or an all-section honor award, which is where all the coaches from each section come together and they nominate the all-stars from each section for each position. I think that I'm really going to enjoy this season this year because we have a lot of fun people on our team and all of our coaches are really encouraging and they help us build our confidence, which I think will help us have a winning season this year. Currently, the Foxes stand undefeated in scrimmage play having defeated the Baldwin High School Fighting Highlanders 10-9 in their first game. With preseason goals and lessons in mind and preparedness enacted, Fox Chapel Softball's teams and program can and will only grow in 2020.